Right, thank you for joining the Average Golfer. I am back here again at Heswell Golf Club. Nice to be out on a course uh, for a change. And uh, today I'm going to be testing the new Sky Caddy SX500. This is packed with all kinds of features. It uh, looks like a very interesting new GPS system. And I'm going to test it out here on the course. But before I do that, let's give you a little bit of the spec from Sky Caddy and what's packed into this SX500. As you can see plenty of features packed into this and sometimes with GPS systems I sometimes think almost get over complicated ultimately at the end of the day we want yardage to certain aspects across the course and um, how does it do that that's what we're really going to test out here today and then the extra little features will you decide whether or not you want them packed into your GPS system or not but I'll have a look at first glance when it comes out the box what was my first thoughts and the first thing is this is a, it's very robust it looks as though, I mean the casing that's around this looks as though uh, you can drop this thing and it ain't going to do too much damage to it. It says it's highly waterproof. It's In size wise it's very similar to the uh, my iPhone, I've got iPhone 7 or 8, is it plus? Um, so that gives you an idea of the screen size. Um, it's very bright, the display is really bright and like I said gives off an excellent display. But, like I said, how does it come to when you're actually using it and want to find out certain yardages to certain hazards around this golf course? Now one of the features that I do want to talk about that's packed into this uh, GPS Sky Caddy is, and one that I've never seen before, is it's got a built-in camera. And when I first thought about it, I thought, well, that's a bit weird because most of us, we've got um, phones with cameras built in and they're always at hand, pretty much in your bag. So why would you need it? It's a 13 megapixel camera, by the way, so it's half decent as well. But the idea is, I think, you see, you take pictures whilst you're going around with your four ball with your friends and then you can upload those images onto some kind of Sky Caddy cloud. It records what hole you took the photo on, what golf course you're at. And I suppose if they're stored over a number of months and years, it might be interesting to look back at on that cloud a bit later on. That's the only thing I can see of why you might use it and not use the phone, uh, the camera rather, that's already built into your phone. So the eighth hole is absolutely perfect here for testing out the Sky Caddy and what it can do for you because as you can see there's water that comes into play on this hole potentially from the tee shot but also down to that left hand side you've got a couple of bunkers as well. So the ideal thing to do very easily because this is so responsive this uh, touch screen is drag this little marker around and find the perfect yardage where you can't reach bunker and you can't reach water. One addition that was mentioned briefly on the intro was uh, Wi-Fi connectivity and I think it's quite an interesting uh, addition and I like it. It basically means that you don't have to plug this thing in to update it and uh, to be able to do that um, over a wireless connection for me is a great addition because I've never really been a fan of the Sky Caddy software and whenever you've had to plug anything in I find it they make life a little bit more difficult than they have to be. So the introduction of Wi-Fi in this device is, uh, is an interesting one and a good bonus. Right, one thing you'll see from the screen that I put in front of you now is there's uh, a number of arcs that you'll see in the fairway and they give you yardages, but they also give you a suggested club selection as well. So I'm assuming that's something that they record over a period of time or whether or not you can enter that, to input that information to your yardage for each club. I'm not too sure, so that's something really I should know. What I will say is that whilst it's suggesting yardages, the one thing the Sky Caddy can't do is tell you what kind of conditions you're playing into. So whether that's downwind, uh, whether you're into the wind, crosswind, all those kind of things that come into play that make club selection just that little bit more or less straightforward than just the fact of 200 yards, I'll pick out a hybrid. So 
So what's my overall assessment of the Sky Caddy uh, SX500? Because there's not a great deal more I can show you, to be honest with you. Um, the one thing's for sure, it is the most responsive screen in terms of a GPS uh, system that I have ever used on a golf course. It's very, very clear. The screen is perfect. The information it displays is perfect. The information it displays is still the same information, obviously, you get from a lot of other devices that are perhaps a lot cheaper. So you've got to consider what it is that you really want. But if you struggle with kind of moving, because I, I know from the past, these kind of touch screens in the, um, in the Golf GPS systems that I've done, used, a little bit fiddly. This is the complete opposite. So if you have struggled with that, if you do struggle with the smaller displays, this is absolutely perfect because for me, Skycaddy is pretty much the leader in terms of uh, what it's produced over the years in these systems. And I think what it's done, it's done what Skycaddy does best and it's done it a little bit better. But it comes with a £379 price tag. It's got a lot of interesting new features. Not sure how many of them you would actually use. Um, but for me, the simplest thing, the simplest way I can put it, it is the best GPS display with the most responsive screen, full of information. It's really, really good. It's hard to knock it, like I said, but uh, ultimately it's that same piece of information that uh, we want to know, which is uh, yardages to hazards, yardages to pins. It just does it really, really well. Anyway, thank you for watching, as ever. Um, and I will see you soon. It's going a little bit dark. I'm going to finish off my, uh, well, 12 holes this afternoon at Heswell Golf Club. So I'll see you soon.